analysis, systematic review and meta-analysis presented by Daniel Chalfield from Birmingham Children's Hospital, UK. Good morning. Thank you for the opportunity to speak here today. I will be presenting a laparoscopic de Hamel procedure for Hirschsprung's disease, a systematic review and meta-analysis. We have nothing to disclose. Despite the trend towards trans endorectal pull through, the Hamel procedure may, remains a popular technique across many institutions. Advantages of the Hamel include less pelvic dissection and a larger anastomosis. Laparoscopic de Hamel was first performed in 1994. Our study is the first systematic review and meta-analysis to compare long-term outcomes for open versus laparoscopic procedures. We performed a systematic review of all studies between 1994 and 2014. Odds ratios were calculated for dichotomous variables mean differences for continuous variables, and a random effects analysis was used for all outcomes. Our outcome parameters included post-operative enterocolitis, constipation and fecal incontinence, also length of hospital stay, length of operation, time to oral feeds, and need for further surgery. <coughs> Eleven studies met our strict inclusion criteria. This gave 456 patients, 253 in the open group and 203 in the laparoscopic group. There was no significant difference in age at surgery or length of follow-up. Hirschsprung associated enterocolitis is the greatest cause of death in Hirschsprung disease. The post-operative enterocolitis, after meta-analysis, there was no statistically significant difference. However, it did favor a laparoscopic group. Similarly, for post-operative constipation, there was no statistically significant difference. Looking at operative time, in the laparoscopic group, this was 4.09 hours after meta-analysis and 3.83 hours in the open group. So this was a statistically significant difference in favor of the open group. However, we did note with more recent studies, um, the time in the laparoscopic group was the same as the open group. Postoperative fecal incontinence is an important outcome in Hirschsprung's disease. After meta-analysis in the laparoscopic group, this was 4% compared to 11% in the open group. This was a statistically significant difference in favor of the laparoscopic procedure. Again, for further surgery, which may include redo de Hamel or formation of a stoma or taking biopsies. In the laparoscopic group, this occurred 14% of the time compared to 25% in the open group. So this was again significant. Length of, length of hospital stay, as you would expect, was 2.5 days longer in the open group. Again, significant. And lastly, time to oral feed was convincingly better in the laparoscopic group compared to the open group. Limitations of our study included no prospective data or randomized control trials. Also, anastomotic stricture was not included as an outcome because it wasn't included in enough studies. Also, the learning curve for lapar laparoscopy was not considered. 
So to conclude, both procedures are safe. There's no statistically significant difference in the rate of enterocolitis. However, the laparoscopic approach is superior to the open approach across a number of outcomes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for a nice presentation. Uh, regarding incontinence, you mentioned the uh, laparoscopic approach is favor compared to open. Mm -hmm. But uh, basically, the procedure is uh, exactly the same. So why? Okay. Um, I can't really comment on difference, the difference in techniques. Um, in the literature, there aren't really any conclusions as to why these outcomes are different. But it may be due to better visualization with a laparoscopic technique, closer dissection. That's purely speculation. Question? Hi. Well, congratulations for your study. Uh, what you didn't say is uh, in the open group, I guess that it was studies that were uh, before the laparoscopy group. So probably the length of stay, uh, the oral uh, alimentation is probably due to the fact that those studies are earlier and that now it's one of the bias that... They're actually looking at the studies wasn't um, an apparent difference in when um, they took place because we looked at 1994 to 2014 purposely because that 1994 was the first time a laparoscopic procedure was performed. Okay, thank you. Very nice presentation. Thank you.